Hello everybody, welcome to Wine Actually TV. I'm your host, Wilson JQ Kwa. Uh, you are watching Malaysia's first wine TV and this is actually my second take today. I know a bit of confession had a bit of that. Um, um, the first time I did this, I actually choked and uh, you know spilled better that around. Yeah, yeah, sorry, so second take. Uh, before we begin, just Remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, that's where you get all the updates, we get new products in on the website, it's going to be a very exciting time for the wine industry in Malaysia and um, yeah, we're, we're proud to be to be in front of that, that kind of a revolution. Um, first thing occurred to me this morning, uh, I heard the news on radio where where Liverpool is in the in the midst of the takeover by this Chinese tycoon, Mr. Huang or something. Mr. Huang, if you're listening to this. Yeah, you know what? English Premier League should just name themselves Chinese Premier League, you know, with uh, Birmingham being owned by this other Chinese tycoon and then you got Vincent Tan going for Cardiff, you know. They should be just the Chinese or the Asian Premier League, you know. Yeah, interesting. Anyway, it is Yellowtail week and uh, we're going to taste some Yellowtail today as well. We're going to be tasting the Shiraz 2009. Sean, you're going to take a zoom in that. Very nice yellow bottle. Well, you know, cool hip. This is this wine is all about hip. It's about cool, you know. Um, yeah, let's uh, see what, what's going on. Oh. First of all, the color. The color, very, very nice. Purpley action. Purple, kind of ruby, purple, kind of intense, thick, intense color. Very characteristic of a Shiraz. Um, next, let's see what's going on in the nose. Some spice, lots of spice, lots of pepper, lots of uh, some stinky fire action, some blueberry, blueberry pie, blueberry pie! Have you not tried blueberry pie? Or something more familiar, blueberry muffins. Yeah, it smells like blueberry muffins, huh? huh. Very stinky fire, oh, I like this. This is very interesting, you know. Sweet, it smells sweet as well. Hmm. Let's see what's happening on the palette. Right, very characteristic. I think this is a big, a good representation of a new world wine. It has lots of fruit in there. Uh, you know, new world wine, you can always correct, well, characterize it by lots of lots of fruits, and this has lots of fruit in there. Not much on the tannin, although it's 2009, quite young. Um, I would say, you know, tannin would be sort of like medium, medium kind of tannins, not so siap. Um, sweet as well. It is. It is slightly off dry. Great, actually. I think this. This actually no. I think girls actually enjoy this. You know, if you are a girl and you like red wine and you don't like something very dry, this will be the answer. You know, this is. Uh, well, I have to tell you a bit about Casella wines and Yellowtail. How it came about. They actually made this wine, as Sean explained yesterday, you know, to break all barriers. And they actually focus on beer drinkers, okay? This is actually a good drink to re this is a good wine if you're a beginner to replace the uh, beer. Um, what's the price range? 40, 49.40 on wine actually. Well, a bit of a Honking going on, yeah. Nothing to. Let's give it a bit one more time. Very 
very inky. Um, not that much finish, you know. Finish about five seconds, very short. Yeah. Uh, personally, I'll give this bar um, 84 points. 84 points. Very simple, easy to drink wine. It is good for the price range. Bang on the the buck. This is a very affordable wine, uh, but nothing, nothing too interesting. And somebody's uh, what's going on? <laughs> Double parking. Double parking. Yeah. Anyway, so you and us and a little bit of wine actually brings people together. Thank you for watching.